Um, but if you are an Etsy seller and you are sick and tired of Printful, uh, Printful is great, but I mean, during the last few months, they've been uh, sort of dropping the ball a little bit. Uh, Guten is definitely an alternative that I think you guys will want to look into. So if you go to Guten, it's G-O-O-T-E-N.com, you're going to land on this page right here. Essentially, what they do is they are a print provider. They integrate with Etsy. They integrate with Shopify. And I believe the third is WooCommerce. But the big thing that you guys need to take away from this is Guten has way, way, way better pricing. I don't know what it is or why it is. Their pricing is awesome. So we're going to go over that. We're going to go over uploading via the single upload interface and how easy that is. So uh, first thing you guys should do, head over to guten.com and grab an account. These are absolutely free to get. There's literally uh, pretty much no setup. You just go here, you sign up now, and you enter in either your Etsy store or your Shopify store, and it automatically connects it. So that is the very, very first step. Go do that right now while I'm talking because uh, I like Guten a lot. Printful, it has been pretty awesome to me, but Guten is something I'm definitely going to start using more into the future, simply because of their pricing. So grab this, all right? This is the back end. If you guys can see this, this is the back end of Guten. We'll go over that in just a second. But we're gonna go over the single upload interface. I know you guys have been talking, uh, asking when new platforms are gonna get added. We just added Guten, so we're gonna go over that. Once you log in at the very top menu, you can download this for either Windows or Mac. Make sure you update it to the latest version. If you're having troubles updating it, simply remove it from your computer and then reinstall it from these links here. Okay, let's go over the inside of Guten. So this is what it's going to look like, all right? Your home screen is gonna be pretty boring. It's just gonna say, hey, you know, connect to store, set up your billing. This is my test account that I use for testing everything. You're gonna have your orders, place an order, but what you really wanna pay attention to is the product hub over here. All right, you see all my uh, test designs in here. The product hub has a few different tabs in it. You have all uh, storage, Shopify, Etsy, and WooCommerce. So if you, for example, I've been set up a Shopify store inside of this test account, but I do have an Etsy store. So what it's gonna look like is this. You can add multiple stores which is really helpful. Uh, big caveat here, do not go and add multiple Etsy stores until you talk to Etsy, okay? You need to get permission from them in order to run multiple stores or you're going to run into a lot of issues. They might shut your account down. So talk to them first, especially if you're doing more than one store. And you might ask, why would you do more than one store? Well, you might have one store for t-shirts. You might have one store for mugs. Maybe you have a store for like different themes, right? Like a wedding related store or a children's related store. But it's definitely something that's okay with Etsy, but you have to contact them first if you're doing more than one Etsy store. Okay, so this is what the product hub is going to look like. I'm just gonna go ahead and run through a manual example, and then we're gonna use the single upload interface. I'm gonna show you how that looks and what you guys should be selecting. So once you've signed up for Guten, absolutely free, go do that right now if you haven't. Once you're inside, you'll connect your Etsy store. Very, very simple. And then you'll go to the product hub, left-hand menu, select whatever store you have integrated, and then click add new product. So Guten has a lot of products that other PODs don't seem to have, but they have way, way better pricing. So let's just stick with t-shirts because that's something we're all familiar with. That's something we all sell. But go ahead and select products. So this is going to be the manually the manual upload uh, stage here, it's kind of a pain. I'm gonna show you why. So it will be selected t-shirts. We're gonna ship worldwide. Um, choose a gender. I'm gonna choose a brand, okay? Bella Canvas. I know a lot of people sell uh, 3001. These are really nice shirts. We can go through here and pick different brands. You'll see there's like a million and a half different uh, options just for t-shirts. But we're gonna stick with Bella Canvas and we're going to go uh, the 3001 and click continue. So now we need to pick some options here, okay? So I'm gonna do center front, so the design's on the front, just like Merch by Amazon. Um, you know, dark gray, what is this one? Dark heather gray, all right? There's a million and a half options for colors, and there's all these t-shirt sizes. So let's just do medium, large, and extra large. And the first thing you notice at the very top of the screen is $9.90. 
This, uh, when I saw this, excited me greatly because uh, let's just pop over to this other tab I have open here. We're inside of Printful, uh, if you guys have used Printful before. And here's that same uh, 3001 t-shirt right here, starting at $12.95. So that's, uh, what is that, a $3 difference? That is huge when it comes to your margin, right? Massive. They just have way, way, way better pricing, and I'm not sure why, but I, uh, I support the better pricing. So anyways, let's keep going through this. We picked where we want to print it. We picked uh, two colors, medium, large, and extra large. So we have six SKUs, okay? We're gonna continue. Now here is where uploading to Guten is kind of a huge, huge pain. Each one of these, so let's go ahead and upload artwork. We're gonna use this one I use for everything. So this is the 3001 medium dark gray men's, all right? But look at this one. Here is the uh, 3001 large. You have to upload the file for every single <laughs> variation. So yes, they have better pricing, but their uh, uploading process, huge, huge pain. So you have to go through here. Now, if you selected more colors or more sizes, this list would get very, very large, okay? Very, very large. So once you go through and select all of that, all right, you can set the, you can replace artwork or delete the SKUs if you don't want them in here. We'll click continue. It'll show you the mock-up images that will get automatically pushed. So we'll click continue. And then on this page, it's gonna say, hey, sales channels, here's the mock-ups, here's the design. Something they do really cool that I haven't actually used, I don't know if Printful offers this because I haven't used it, um, are the neck labels, okay? So if you really want, you it does cost extra, right? But you can actually put uh, neck labels on your shirts with your own brand, with your own artwork. So you can come down here and, you know, pick a bunch of these are just testing stuff, okay? But you create new if you want to and upload an image of your brand, okay? Really, really cool. Something we're not gonna do though. This is where your uh, the title of your shirt would be. The description, you know, pretty familiar with this. Tags, product colors, product options. You can push it as store as a draft. But right here, okay, the pricing, $9.90. So if you wanted to put uh, it for the customer at like $25, which on Etsy, you sell all day. Etsy definitely takes higher prices. People on Etsy are willing to pay more. I mean, look at this profit, all right? This is something you're not going to get on Merch by Amazon. Probably, probably, I mean, okay, there's going to be people who publish stuff for really expensive, but you're not gonna sell volume at this uh, price. But the profit margin is awesome. You can come in here and you know edit all of this, but I like to keep it the same. So on and so forth, fill all that out, and then you publish to the store. But what I really want you guys to take this is one, way better pricing, and two, it's a pain to upload all of those images for every single variation. So. That is the entire process. It's fairly easy. It's There's nothing really that complicated. It just takes a little while. But let me go over, let me find it. Uh, the single upload interface, so inside of Merchant Informer, I'm gonna show you guys how to upload to Guten that'll automatically get pushed to Etsy extremely quickly without sitting here and mindlessly clicking upload the same image over and over again. Go ahead and download this. Probably familiar with this by now. All right, so I'm gonna minimize, or just move that to another screen so you guys can see this. CSV file, okay, if you're not familiar with a CSV file by now, uh, I've done a million and a half videos on it. Uh, Google Sheets is probably going to be your best friend. I like to keep one massive spreadsheet of every design I have, uh, where I've uploaded it, what products I've uploaded it to, and then you can just copy and paste from that sheet into a separate CSV file, and that's the way you can stay organized. But I've gone ahead and uploaded one, you see the same design I use pretty much every video have an image path in here. Uh, if you don't know how to do an image path, you can always upload it to this tab right here. But we're going to go ahead and upload it to Guten. So we'll select Guten. I'm going to clear this out. So this is the this is what is going to look like when you first get here, all right? So you need to add a store URL. So where do you get a store URL? You click on this button right here. It's clickable link, which will bring you to the product hub, exactly what I was showing you you'll pick where, what integration you wanna to upload to, right? So like I have an Etsy account here, so I will pick Etsy and then I will simply copy this URL and shove it in here and click save. 
And this is going to bring up all of the products there. I think there's 120 plus. So there's there's a lot of products in here. Going to go ahead and search shirt. T-shirts. There's a category for T-shirts because there's a million and a half of them. And here is the 3001. So we'll just go ahead and pick that. Okay. Fairly straightforward. Now here are the colors. Again, a lot of different colors here. Go ahead and pick some colors. I'm just going to pick black just so this uploads uh, as quickly as possible. And then you have to select, hey, do you want it printed on the center and the back, the front or the front and back? Uh, the front's in the middle here, so that's what I'm gonna pick. And all you're doing is you're using the drop down menu on the right. This is going to be what you uploaded in your CSV table. So I put the image path in here, the image on my computer. Where do I wanna upload it? Uh, let me go back here. Scroll down here, I want to upload the image path to the front of the shirt, all right? Here's all your sizes, you know, we can pick large, you can pick medium, I'm just gonna keep it at large. Here's that neck label I was talking about. So if you have this, if you wanna do a neck label, put that in your CSV file in a different column. I'm not doing neck labels for now, I don't actually have one ready to go. But then all you're doing is, uh, finally, we're just picking some data. So title of the uh, design, is going to match the title I put in the file here. And uh, same with this, so tags, description, and price. All of this is right here, okay? the That is the most simple I, I could possibly make it for you guys. So everything's picked, that's literally it. All you have to do is head over here, pick uh, select Guten. I'm not gonna upload this one because it's literally a copy in my CSV file. But you can come in here and you can see, okay, this is where the file is on my computer. Here's the title, here's the color, price, sizes. Pretty much uh, everything's straightforward. And then we'll just go ahead and click Start Uploading, which will bring you over to here. So it's gonna open the browser in the background. It's gonna search the product. Now I'm just sitting here doing absolutely nothing, setting the gender, the brand, picking the product, setting the print area, setting the colors, setting the sizes. And then my favorite part, while I'm just sitting here, is it's uploading all those images that I don't want to sit there and click over and over and over again. So we'll give this a few seconds to upload here. All right, continuing progress, so that's fairly quick. All right, it's still going, setting title, now it's just going through all of the stuff we set up. Now typically when you're doing this, you're gonna have more than one design in your CSV file and then it will just rip through all of them and upload them to Etsy in a draft. So you'll be able to go into Etsy, go to your drafts, and then change anything you want before it actually goes live so you're not being charged that 20 cents, I believe, uh, every time a product gets pushed to Etsy. So it says work was uploaded, okay, that's great. Let me bring it back over there. All right, so I'm just gonna refresh this page. So these are the two designs I had up. I'm uploading the same one, but we should see a third, third shirt right here so we'll go ahead and refresh and there you go there's the third shirt and you'll see it's unpublished okay it's unpublished because it's sitting in draft mode on etsy and you'll be able to click this and it'll just load in and you'll be able to see all right so here's the here's the name here's the description here's all the tags i use here's the pricing all right and here is i push one variation the large um the 3001 so fairly fairly straightforward but Guten is definitely something that I think you guys should pay attention to because they have, one, a lot of really good products. I mean, like, they have, like, a, what what is it? They're, they're beanies for babies, right? I thought that was pretty interesting. They have aprons. They have all sorts of stuff with way better pricing. I don't know if I can uh, say that too many times, but uh, when you're being let down by companies like Printful, which are trying their best, okay? They're, they're a massive company, but... Uh, Something this easy to set up inside of Etsy is definitely something I would take a look at if I were you guys. But that's really all I wanted to cover today. So inside of Guten, the single upload interface and then actually doing this automatically without sitting here and uploading. All right, guys, I am going to pop off here. If you guys have any other questions about Guten, uploading Guten, single upload interface, drop them in the comments. I will swing back around, definitely answer those. Anything else I can do for you guys, let me know. Appreciate you showing up randomly on a Monday. Uh, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.